Well, hello everybody. It is May 3rd, 2023, and this is the calm before the storm. I was hoping it was going to be May 4th so I could, so I could say may the 4th be with you. <laughs> but uh, I'll be doing that tomorrow for the snow. So this is the calm before the storm, guys. We have uh, temperatures today in the upper 40s, lows in the 20s, and then overnight tonight is when we're supposed to start getting some snow. I just posted in the community section the written forecast from our good friend Ben Brissy, who is who runs bensweather.com, B-E-N-S-W-E-A-T-H-E-R.com. I suggest all of you, all of your weather info. Um, when you're not watching videos, please, please go to him because he is he is so good at what he does. He's 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 the best meteorologist ever. He's so right on and uh, very very honest and just a good dude. And uh, he's a good friend too. So go to bensweather.com and you'll get the most just just thorough forecast. Um, so yeah, overnight tonight it's supposed to begin some more snow for us, you guys. And some parts of town could see th uh, three plus inches you guys so i don't think that's going to be us i really don't but i mean how awesome is that on may 3rd we could get a few more inches of snow i think that's gonna be it's gonna be beautiful for our town you guys this is awesome sauce this is great so yeah um and what do you guys think since i'm going bald i decided just you know what go with it so i i took it all off how's it look how's it look does it look all right <laughs> okay i hope so Look at how green the golf course is though. My goodness gracious, great balls of fire. That is amazing, look at that. But yeah, so we got three, possibly three plus inches in, in some parts of town. I'm assuming that where I live, we'll probably get about an inch or two, but tomorrow's high temperatures might not even get out of the 30s, you guys. So we're, we're gonna have a really cold day. Um, and tomorrow night's lows could be in the upper teens, lower 20s. So it's gonna be really, really, really cold again. As I said, every, everything's gonna start shortly after midnight and end mid-morning on, on Thursday, which is tomorrow. Um, it's gonna be a quick wham, bam, thank you, ma'am type of a scenario. So be ready, everybody. Um, I'm sorry that I'm doing the calm before the storm a, a, a little bit late. This is usually about the time I would do it before the storm. Um, I'm apologizing because if there were people who wanted to come up here and get here before it starts snowing, you'd have to you'd have to hurry. So I don't want you guys rushing or doing anything like that. But look at Bear Mountain. That is so sad to see that beautiful resort closed. Look at that. They still have a lot of snow. They, they probably could have kept a run or two open. But yeah, guys. So and look at that. I can't believe people do this stuff here. Seriously, you ever see anyone littering up here? Give them the old, the old knuckle sandwich. Just give them the old, just right in the kisser. Just right in the kisser. So yeah, guys, very excited, as you can tell. I'm always very, very excited when we get this type of, of weather. Um, but yeah, then we got things gradually heating back up this weekend. It's gonna be nice. I don't see any more snow in the near forecast, but there's still a, a whole month of, you know, chances of snow. So keep your fingers crossed that for me, we get the snow because you guys know how much I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. If you guys have any questions about anything, don't hesitate to hit me up. For those of you who are fairly new, we do what's called a calm before the storm video, every video, or every storm, which basically shows you what parts of the town look like before the storm, and then we we go for a drive during the storm, or multiple, and then after the storm. So I like to see the discrepancies between before the storm and after the storm. And yeah, it's, it's just, yeah calm before the storm videos are always cool because of the anticipation i really enjoy it as you can see we're driving my brand new car my 2023 subaru outback touring xt it's the nicest subaru that they make on the market it's a beautiful car but because i got in that car accident six months ago with my 2019 subaru cross trek um it was my first car accident ever you guys and my my insurance more than doubled so um yeah it's just uh had to really lower the insurance to like the the like basic for like driving and stuff like that. And then uh, once our snow season is completely done, I'm gonna be storing this vehicle for insurance purposes and not driving it. 
So the cool thing is, if I'm ever in a situation where I need to come up with a lot of money or something in like a year or two, which I hope that doesn't happen, but you know how life throws you curveballs, you guys. If that ever happens, at least I'll have a car with 6,700 miles on it, <clears throat> a brand new car. Um, and after one year, it, it'll only have this many miles, maybe even after two years, if I don't drive it and just drive my other car till the wheels fall off. The good thing about that is that um, I'll have good, great resale value, so it'll be terrific. Um, so yeah, I'm just trying to be smart about things. I don't want to pay another $330 a month for this insurance on this car, but that's about what I'm paying for my other car also. So yeah, it's it's ridiculous. And then I have my my brand new Harley Davidson and stuff like that, which we're getting that back Friday. It has a brand new engine and a brand new Screaming Eagle Stage 4 kit and a brand new battery and stuff too. Uh, I'm really looking forward to it. We're gonna be doing some videos on that bad boy. I'm trying to figure out how to get the, the microphone up and running on that through my GoPro, but I don't know how to do it. So I'm gonna wear my chest mount for the first video or two and then kind of yell out my helmet so you guys can hear me but I'm excited to do these Harley Davidson videos with you guys it's a 2020 fat boy you guys for those of you who know motorcycles it has a 117 engine fully supercharged it's literally the fastest Harley up here by far no question about it um, it's got aftermarket suspension aftermarket exhaust the thing is so unbelievable you guys it's it's the most unbelievable Harley ever I think you guys who haven't seen it yet will dig it. So Friday we get that back, so we'll probably do do a video over the weekend in the Harley. I hope you guys enjoy it. I have five GoPro mounts set up on the bike, and I have seven or eight GoPro Hero 8s. So I used to put all the cameras on the bike and then edit little clips from every, every different angle. It was pretty cool. So I'm, I'm really hoping you guys enjoy this stuff. But yeah, it's a great place for a U-turn, buddy. <laughs> Seriously. That's Big Bear, y'all. <laughs> anyway, get ready for the snow, you guys. This is crazy. Don't forget, I've recorded snow here, guys, on May 31st before. I think every May that I've lived here. And I've lived here for eight years and two days now. This is my eight year and two day anniversary. I just passed my eight year anniversary. But uh, this town, every every year that I've lived here, it's snowed in May. And half the time it snowed on Mother's Day. So this isn't something out of the ordinary, but I mean, when you guys are getting 80, 90 degree weather down there, it is kind of odd to see it snowing up, up here, I bet. So yeah, so we're just gonna go a little bit past the village and then turn around and come back. And if. Once again, if you guys have any questions about anything, don't ever hesitate to hit me up. You guys are my peeps. I love doing this for you guys. I love I love boasting about this town, sharing this town. You guys, you guys are such amazing people. You guys are the family that I never had and always wanted. So thank you again for all the all all the support. I also wanted to say hi to our our friend Moonridge88. Just like so many of you, Moonridge has been just so supportive and so awesome. And uh, you know what? Like when I need to get constructive feedback, Moonridge gives me real, honest, constructive feedback. And you know, sometimes people can can be mean, and I and I'm not trying to say poor me. You know, that's just life. But it's I'm I'm much more receptive when I, I'm not doing something properly. If like someone is it is nice about it instead of saying hey you suck or something because then I don't listen so thank you thank you Moonridge and Moonridge also sent me like a, a beautiful one of those really expensive like feels like I don't know like just the softest blanket ever and uh, sent us some like fireplace some really cool fireplace video and um, easily Moonridge spent a hundred bucks so Moonridge, thank you. Thank you. That's just awesome stuff. And thank all of you for all you've done for me. All the help, all the donations. You guys don't understand how much that stuff does help me out. Buying my beanies and stuff like that. It's, it's huge, you guys. 
It is huge. And I know every single one of us could 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 use the help. And, and I'm just very, very blessed and thankful every second of every day that what I do in your minds warrants some help every now and again. So thank you guys. And I promise you guys, I'll never let you down. I've never missed a storm in the eight years that I've lived here. We're gonna be doing a lot more stuff this summer because that's what you guys want. And uh, that's what I want too. I, I'm really looking forward to doing more. Um, we've got a, an interview at Captain's Anchorage Restaurant in the next, I think, week or two, and then Azteca Grill in the next week or two. Things are really coming around. We're gonna go with on some hikes with my good friend who lives in that neighborhood right there. His name's Ray. He's been up here most of his life. Um, he does the most insane hikes, but he, he, he knows the area like the back of his hand, so he's gonna make sure that he shows me and takes me with him on, on some of these easier hikes at first till I get warmed up to them. I bought my wife and myself some really nice hiking boots. They arrived today. Hopefully she doesn't watch this part of the video because it's supposed to be a surprise, but I spent a, a pretty penny on them. So we have comfortable shoes for our hikes and snake repellent shoes, as well as really good merino wool. You guys know how I like my merino wool. I got six pairs of merino wool socks for the just for the hiking, three for my baby and three for me. So yeah, we're gonna have a great, great summer, you guys. Hope you guys enjoy it. And don't forget, any suggestions you guys have, please toss them out there. That doesn't mean that I'll always get to it, but um, I wanna do what's gonna interest you guys. It's really important to me to do things like that. This channel originally started for me in a total selfish way. I couldn't afford any thumb drives, you guys. Um, I'm clinically severely depressed and recording it snow makes me happy and it makes me get through anything. It, it helps me to get through any part of life that's really, really tough. And so when I moved up here, I moved up here just for the snow to be super bummed out in the snow instead of super bummed out down the hill. And once again, I couldn't afford any thumb drives so I ended up starting a YouTube channel because I could use YouTube's cloud for free to store all my videos. And uh, now it's gotten to a point where I, it's still not feeling like a job for me, which is the best part about it. Um, and I do it for you guys. I know this makes a lot of you really, really happy. I get a lot of comments from quite a few different people um, saying that it's just so relaxing for them. Um, it helps get them through some really hard times, which it's exactly why I watch the videos of when it's snowing to get me through some some really hard times. So that's one of the greatest compliments you could ever give me, you guys, is saying that I'm helping you guys out like that. So thank you so much. Seriously, thank you so much. I love you guys so much. That is that is the most incredible thing that you could ever say to me, that what I do brings peace into your hearts. So thank you. I mean, that is amazing. Anywho, anywho, There's Azteca Grill. I'm telling you guys what, that's the best Mexican place up here. And not just up here, that's a, it's, it could compete against a lot of my favorite restaurants down the hill too, Mexican restaurants. It's really, really good. We did Taco Tuesday again last night. They're five or six dollar per taco on regular nights are a dollar on Taco Tuesday. So she and I always get 10 tacos on Tuesdays. Just not the wealthiest people over here, you know? We work our butts off, but you know, it, it someday it'll pay off, uh, someday. Just it's not paying off yet, so. Um, and sorry for those of you who are new, I'm, I'm typically annoying like this, but if you watch the videos longer, um, I'm very friendly, I'm very kind, I'm, I'm here to help. But it's just my personality, sometimes I get super annoying, and I really hope you guys can forgive me about that. But yeah, look guys, there is no snow anywhere. In these hills on the left-hand side, the further you go back, there will be snow. But it's really nasty, like icy snow. The little patches you'll still find remaining. I'm gonna check out my my, my weather right now just to see exactly what time 
it looks like it's gonna start snowing. Ben sent me that message earlier today and things always change by like an hour or so up here. What I've noticed is when we get a forecast, if it says it's gonna start snowing at 5 p.m., as we get closer, it'll say it'll start at 6 p.m. and then it'll say it'll start at 7 p.m. and then 8 p.m. So it always gets pushed back. So I wanna let you guys know what it's saying here. It looks like it's supposed to start at 2 a.m. now. So that's cool. I'll be out, of course, doing what I do for y'all. As soon as that first snowflake comes down, I will be out here. Again, I love doing this for you guys. This makes me really, really happy. Reading the comments makes me so happy. This, this channel has been just the biggest blessing. I can never thank you guys enough for saving my life. Once again, I know I'm talking a lot, but when, when I say that, it's the absolute truth. From my severe depression, you guys, the love that you guys show me has given me a purpose. Even though I've been running my own business up here for the past six and a half years, it's, uh, I, I just don't have any real association with, with many people. And you guys have given me the hope um, and shown me so much love that I've, I've wanted to live and try to thrive. When before that, I didn't care. You know what I used to tell myself, you guys, when I was on my Harley? I used to sometimes be in such a bad place emotionally. I would tell myself, if on this next corner, if my tire pops or I fly off the edge, so be it. As long as it's um, immediately on impact. Like, guys, you, you, you guys have saved my life. And I tell you guys this because that's, an that's another greatest compliment I, I could ever give you guys. Is that you guys have done that for me. And I will always be here for you guys. I will never, ever, ever let you guys down. I work so hard trying just to be me and do what I do for you guys. So thanks again for for saving me and uh, being my friend and just being so un unbelievably loving. All right, so this street here, here, this is, uh, we're on Blue Jay Road, as you can see right up there but we are right next to the lake according to our GPS system. This is called Boulder Bay, you guys. This is the Boulder Bay neighborhood. And this is one of the most beautiful neighborhoods in this town. Not cheap, but then again, no place in this area is cheap anymore, or, or I shouldn't say cheap, inexpensive. When I first moved up here, I'm, I, I've been grandfathered into the price that I pay for rent. You guys, for my little two-story place, I pay five fifty a month. Yeah, and my next door neighbor, he's been there 27 or 28 years, <clears throat> and the owner of our whole property built um, a, like, a huge addition on to his place. So his place is exactly like mine, but with this huge addition, and he's been paying $450 a month, you guys, for over a thousand square feet, <clears throat> or maybe close to a thousand square feet. And uh, literally three years after I moved here, the prices absolutely skyrocketed and became usurious. Um, so I'm happy where I'm at. It's really beautiful inside. I've done so many upgrades so many upgrades we put in wood floors had it repainted put in a toto toilet put in the nicest blinds you can get we we were going to get plantation shutters but because it's such a, a small place it, it just wouldn't have fit right um got a new sub-zero fridge and freezer a nice unbelievable stove um gosh we uh i put in a washer dryer and had the um, had an electrician come out to wire it so we could actually have a washer dryer in there. It's really, really nice on, on, on the inside. It's like the Taj Mahal. It's, it's really, really top shelf. I really dig it. From the outside, it really doesn't look like much, which is, which is fine. But I'm happy there, five fifty a month. Um, I know for a fact that they're, they're, they're trying to get over a thousand a month for that same place. If, if I'd move. So yeah, all the prices up here have doubled and in some cases tripled. <clears throat> so, that's pretty tough. <coughs> I'm 
But yeah, anyway, we're back here at, at Big Bear Boulevard. <clears throat> at the uh, the time right now is 12:53. Let me just make sure that this is correct. Yeah, 12:54 actually. There's my Harley buddies. Oh, I love you guys. I love you guys. 12:54. And I'm so excited about this snowfall. Oh my gosh. But yeah, I hope everyone's having a killer day. Hope you're having a great week. Happy hump day. Can't wait till tomorrow for the snow and to be able to say May the 4th be with you. I know I need to grow up a little bit, but it is what it is. Wow, they patched up some of these potholes right here. That's great. So check it out. This next street, we're going to turn down here to go by Aspen Glen just to see how much snow is remaining in that area. Isn't this amazing, guys, how little snow we have left? It really is to me. After we got... I think we got just under 300 inches of snow this year, you guys. Don't quote me. Don't quote me. That's just what I heard. I've been wrong once before. Once. All right. This area here on the left looked so cool when we had a bunch of snow here. It was so awesome looking. They have all, the, all these little tiny streams that run through it. It's really cool. Ben Brissy from Ben's Weather just sent me a message because I sent him one telling him thank you for sending us that. He's like, that's awesome, Nick. Uh, well, you're probably starting to pick up pretty quick. Now in tune with things for a while. The more storms you follow, the more you'll get an understanding of our crazy microclimates. He is so right about that. I really love him a lot. He is such a good guy. All right, so look, there's a couple patches of snow right there. This is one of the areas I send you guys for free sledding. This part of the area, you have to find a, a place to park legally. But right now we're coming up to Aspen Glen and there are parking spaces here. So I'm excited to just see, wow, there's literally nothing over here. Nothing. Okay. beautiful this is a great place to go sledding for free when we have snow we could get enough snow technically to be able to do a little sledding you guys so those of you who are considering coming up here please please contact me and any information I can give you so you don't waste your time let me know of course we want you to come up here anyway but because of you tourists I get to live here and I don't want you guys wasting your time wasting your money I, I, I want you guys to get all the info that you need to come up here and have a good time bottom line end of story Oh, it's so pretty, you guys. And look at this huge tree trunk right here. Wow. Whoa. Joey Buttafuoco over here. Oh, wow. Get in the chapel. We got the snow coming. Wow. That's a horrible, horrible Arnold impersonation, you guys. Horrible. And once again, the last time I'll mention this is, <clears throat> yes, it does hurt, hurt my feelings when people think I'm annoying because <clears throat> I, I, I am only human. But one thing that you guys can do, if, if this is just too much for you, I, I mean, just too much for you, just hit the mute button, put on some music in the background, and there you go. You get to see this beautiful town without having to listen to me. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Yo, what's up? Look at a little lake, a little pond.
Okay, back to Big Bear Boulevard. We're gonna go through the village real quick and then we're gonna head back to the house and get the video uploaded for y'all. This place is always so much fun. It's 20 bucks to ride the roller coaster, the mine shaft coaster. And then it's $40 when, it's, when sledding season is here. $40 per person uh, to sled as much as you want. And what's great about these paid places to go sledding, you guys, is that they have um, electric walkways that pull, pull you up to the top, motorized walkways. So your kids will never get tired. Um, they can just have so much fun and so much more fun. Yeah, it's, 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 just, it's just great. You're, you know, I, even though I do have a, a video in my playlist of four or five free areas to go sledding, I'm telling you what, if, if you can spend that 40 bucks, do it. It's so worth it. It's so worth it. And not only there, you, you can go to Big Bear Snowplay, which is right next to Motel 6 on the border of Big Bear Lake and Big Bear City. But yeah, we're about to enter the village. We are going to stay at this place, the Blue Green. One of you guys offered my wife and myself to use your timeshare for nothing. And I feel really odd about doing that. I am very, very, very grateful. But since I looked at the, the prices and, and it was less than 300 a night right now during the week, as opposed to a thousand a night a couple months ago, I think she and I might try and stay there in the next couple weeks. Just spend two nights there with taxes and fees and stuff, it'll be probably about eight, 800 bucks for the two nights, but it's it's one of our much nicer spots up here and I really wanna show you guys what that place looks like and how it feels to be there. It's important that every referral I give you guys and every review that I give you guys is a review from actually experiencing the place or the restaurant, really important. A lot of people ask me, how's this restaurant? How's that restaurant? I, I just can't, can't give you guys an honest opinion. I can give you guys some other people's subjective opinions, but I don't, I don't feel right even doing that. I want to make sure that, um, I only give you guys reviews of places I've stayed and you guys will see that I'm, I'm very honest <clears throat> at the risk of upsetting people, um, which I'm not trying to do you guys. I'm just trying to be very, very honest, but I make it very clear. If it's not the best review, I, I'm, I make sure you guys understand that it's very subjective. It's just my opinion. And my opinion does not matter that much. I feel like I have good taste, but my opinion does not matter. So I don't want you guys to not stay somewhere just because I had a bad experience, unless it's an obvious bad experience. Like, uh, um, like, like the place is filthy or just something like that. If it's something stupid where I got bummed out about something that maybe others wouldn't. Yeah. I just don't, I, I just don't want to ruin your guys' chances. So that's why when I don't give the best review on, on certain restaurants or hotels, I make it very clear that it's very subjective and that you guys should in most cases still give it a chance. But I do try to push restaurants and other businesses up here that really care about you guys. Because unfortunately in, in, in this town, there's, there's a lot of complaining about tourists and tourism. And it's mind blowing to me because once again, without you guys, none of us get to live here. So to hear people complain and say not the nicest things about tourists just blows my mind. Just blows my mind. <clears throat> you know what we might do? We might take the back way up to Snow Summit and just drive through that parking lot so we can check out what it looks like on the slopes there. 
even though they're technically closed now as well. They closed four days ago, I believe. We will be doing a video over at Snow Summit, you guys, in the next probably week, just to get that eerie feeling that we got at Bear Mountain going around the resort when it's completely empty. You guys really enjoyed that Bear Mountain video, so, so that's that makes me want to do the same thing over here at Snow Summit for y'all. Okay, we are on a street called Thrush. It says Thrush right there on the top of the screen. And this is where we're going. You see where all the streets end up north of us here just a little bit? That's because that is the resort. Woohoo! Temperature is 48 degrees, 104 p.m. Again, you guys, especially the new people here, do not ever hesitate to ask me any questions you want. I am always going to be here for you guys. A lot more than you will ever think. You guys are everything to me. You guys are my happiness, my pride and joy. You guys are everything to me. So, we're going to open up the sunroof and hold our phone out the sunroof when we drive past the resort. Forgive the wind sound, you guys, please. I'm not trying to be annoying. First of all, my talking is super annoying, and then now the wind sound, jeez Louise. Okay, here is our beautiful Snow Summit Ski Resort. Sadly, it is closed. That is so, such a bummer. And since it says no trespassing, I'm gonna call, contact a friend who runs the joint. He actually is the general manager for Levy, the food and beverage operations, but I wanna make sure that, oh look, people are trespassing. It says no trespassing. Yeah, look, 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 look at how beautiful it is, guys. Look at how beautiful. I don't think it's a, a big deal to, even though it says area closed, no trespassing, to just walk, walk up here and uh, do a little video here. This is great. They got the lifts running probably because they have some employees going up to the top to help clean up and do stuff like that. All right, you guys. Well, that is that. So we'll come back in a, in a few days, but I'll come back with permission to go out there. I'm not gonna go onto the slopes, probably, but I'll just be walking through, through the resort to show you guys what's up, but you never know. Whatever they allow me to do, we will do. turn down Evergreen Street. This is where we're at in town, that little blue dot. I want you guys to see some of the streets near us. And once again, we're in my beautiful 2023 Subaru Outback Touring XT. Leather seats, rear cameras, front cameras, all these driving sensors. It's even got this button I can push right here, which guys, you. I didn't realize until not too long ago that that actually, when I'm cruise controlling it, if I hit that button, I'll stay in the lane, even if the road turns and stuff. It's, it's, like, it's like driving a Tesla. It's the craziest thing. 
it feels really weird the first couple times you do it though because it's like uh, is, is it gonna turn you obviously got to keep your hand on the wheel just to make sure that everything's gonna be okay but yeah it follows the road perfectly stay it keeps you right in your lane so anyway this street evergreen you guys is one of my favorite streets in all of Big Bear because they have just beautiful magnificent houses on both sides of the street We're gonna get to stay at an Airbnb on this street someday. I know that. And coming up to the stop sign, this is one of my favorite houses in all of Big Bear. Just, just this view from the front on the corner right here. Look at this place. Isn't that awesome? I mean, that is, that is an awesome, awesome place. And as I said, all these houses are really pretty over here right next door they're all so gorgeous Okay, and one of my favorite homes on this whole street is this big cabin right here. It, for some reason, it, it, it just it just makes it brings back nostalgia, and I don't know why. But look at how big that that cabin is. That's an Airbnb property, so you guys can rent that as well. And straight ahead is my favorite paid hotel up here. Apple's Bed and Breakfast, such a great place, you guys. The owner's super cool, the employees are super cool. Remember, we got to rent the whole building to ourselves, it was great. But guys, thank you again for listening to me. Thank you for enjoying this. Get ready for one to three inches of snow in this area, starting overnight tonight. Probably gonna start at about one in the morning, or two in the morning and end about 10, 10 in the morning and we could get a few inches of snow. I love you guys dearly. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to hit me up. It's May 3rd, 2023. I love you all. I'll see you when it's snowing.